we are discussing how to implement a schedule critical path analysis using project network diagram method. Precedence diagram method is another name of project network diagram method. Our discussion goes first, special features of the program, different from the conventional and manual way. Second, Preparation works such as essential worksheets and preliminary activity schedule data. Third, create initial network diagram to review and finalize schedule data by modifying the network diagram. Fourth, perform critical path analysis using the network method along the forward and backward pass. Lastly, generate Gantt chart based on the final network diagram. This program is featured with automated ways rather than conventional and manual ways. Firstly, automate to draw project network diagram based on schedule data table. Secondly, program enters formulas in the activity node cells referring to the project network diagram. Lastly, generate Gantt chart based on the network diagram. As a preparatory work, we need to generate three worksheets and define activity schedule data. The first worksheet named calendar is pre-formatted. It is necessary to define weekend day and populate bank holidays to do practical CPA rather than virtual. Enter zero hours for weekend day. Complete project holidays list. The second worksheet named PDM CPA is pre-formatted for activity details. Range of four columns to describe activity details and project start date. Four command buttons of ActiveX control are embedded for the purpose of user interface. The rest space is reserved for network diagram and critical path analysis. The third and last worksheet named Gantt chart is generated and formatted programmatically. Initial Gantt chart is based on the default color code and Friday report cutoff. Users favored colors and different report cutoff day will be reflected into the Gantt chart from next run. The activity data table consists of four columns, activities, description, predecessor, and period. At the top, project start date is required to be entered. Relationship logic and time lag are not included in the activity table. Initial logic is FS, finish to start, and time lag is zero days. Logics other than FS can be evaluated by modifying network diagram. The changed logics are considered when critical path analysis is conducted. Accordingly, Gantt chart is generated based on the changed logics. Initial network diagram is drawn automatically and representation of schedule data table. The network diagram is reviewed and updated to suit your demand. This network diagram will be the basis of your critical path analysis. In order to create a representative network diagram, press the left pink button at top of the worksheet named PDM CPA. The first diagram generated is just pictorial representation to review the precedence of activities. This diagram consists of activity boxes and connectors. Activity nodes are laid out in sequence horizontally from left to right on the worksheet. The nodes of the same sequence are arranged vertically over the same columns. Each node contains its corresponding activity details as tabulated, activity ID, description, predecessors, and period. Dependency relationship are displayed by the connector based on the predecessors and assuming FS relationship. FS stands for finish to start. Each connector is of elbow type. The connector begins at the side 4, right side, of predecessor box and ends at the side 2, left side, of successor box. The side 4 represents finish and the side 2 represents start of the activity. As default, joint adjustment is at 50% length of the connector. You may move the activity box to your preferred position for clarity. For the sake of connector optimization, dependencies can be modified by changing the connected shapes for the connector, either predecessor or successor. Connected site is altered if you want to modify default logic FS to another such as SS, start to start, 2 to 2 connection. Change connector joint adjustment other than 50% to avoid overlapping of connector. 
The network diagram for critical path analysis will be generated at the same position for activity boxes and connectors you confirm through the process explained above. Now we are ready to develop the logical schedule referring to the network diagram you finalized earlier. The schedule gets to be logical through critical path analysis. The critical path analysis is composed of three steps. Step 1, early schedule calculation along forward pass. Step 2, late schedule calculation along backward pass. Step 3, float calculation by comparing early schedule and late schedule. Early schedule is derived by pressing the second left button at top of the worksheet named PDMCPA. A user form appears to help display formula inside the formula bar. Press OK button on the user form. The activity node in the first pictorial network diagram reviewed by you earlier is converted to three rows by three columns data range to contain schedule data. Top row, for early start, period, and early finish. Middle row, for activity ID, and description. Bottom row, for late start, float, and late finish. Early start, abbreviated ES, is calculated along the forward pass from project start activity to project end activity. Activities are allowed to start only after all predecessors of the activity are finished. In other word, the start date is calculated latest, maximum, finish date of its predecessors. The ES is translated into Excel formula using the Excel max function. ES equals max, finish date of predecessors. Left top cell of activity node is assigned with the start date of the corresponding activity. For instance, activity CUG006A has two predecessors, both CUG003A and CUG006 with FS logic. The early start date of the activity CUG006A is next day of the latest finish date of CUG003A and CUG006. To take into account working days only and to make activities start date one day after predecessor's finish date, a custom function workday ch is used rather than the Excel workday function. Logics other than FS are converted to the formula equivalent to FS logic. For example, activity CUG005 has two predecessors, CUG002A with FS logic and CUG004 with FF logic. FF logic is made equivalent to FS logic by setting predecessors finish date to early day by activity period. Activity time lag of other logics is made equivalent to that of FS logics for incorporation into their start date formulas. If time lag of FS is K days. SS logics time lag is K minus predecessors period. SF logics time lag is K minus predecessors period minus activity period. FF logics time lag is K minus activity period. Activity finish date is calculated by adding period to the activity start date. Project start date is entered for a start activity and this is programmed to take place as the last act of the forward pass operation. The project start activity is featured with no related predecessor involved. Application screen updating equals true statement does not enable formula to be viewed in the formula bar. To view development of schedule formula in sequence inside the formula bar. We take advantage of user form repaint method along with application wait method. Late schedule is derived by pressing the third left button at top of the worksheet named PDMCPA. A user form appears. Press OK button on the user form. Late schedule is calculated along backward pass through the schedule, starting at the last activity. An activity must finish before its earliest successor start. Late finish of the activity is one day before the earliest start date of its successors. In other word, the finish date is the earliest start date of its successors. The late finish date abbreviated as LF is translated into Excel formula using the Excel min function. LF equals min of, late start of successors. Backward pass calculation starts from the project end activity by setting the late finish date to the same date as early finish date. 
the project and activity is featured with no related successor involved. Right bottom cell of activity node is assigned with the late finish date. Late start date is assigned to the left bottom cell and required for next activity's late finish date. The late start date is returned by subtracting period from the late finish date. The activity's late finish date is calculated in sequence backward referring to its successor's early schedule and considering the logic between the activity and its direct successor. For instance, activity MEI007 has three successors, MEI008, MEI09 and MEI010 all with FS logic. The late finish date the activity MEI007 is one day before of the earliest start date of the successors. A custom function workday ch is used rather than the Excel workday function. Logics other than FS are converted to the formula equivalent to FS logic. For example, activity MEI005 has two successors, MEI006 with FF logic and MEI010 with FS logic. FF logic is made equivalent to FS logic by setting successors, MEI006, start date to late date by successors period. Activity time lag of other logics is made equivalent to that of FS logics for incorporation into their finish date formulas. If time lag of FS is K days, SS logics time lag is K plus successor period. SF logics time lag is K plus successors period plus activity period. FF logics time lag is K plus activity period. Activity start date is calculated by subtracting period from the activity finish date. The criticality of activities are defined based on each activity float or slack calculation. The float is computed by comparing the early schedule and the late schedule of the same activity. If the late schedule of an activity is later than its early schedule counterpart, with float bigger than zero, we may delay the activity start or finish date by the float without delaying project completion. But if the late schedule is same as the early schedule, with zero float, it is not possible to delay the activity without impact on the project completion. Consequently, the activities with zero float are considered and defined as critical activities. The float is calculated with LF minus F or with LS minus ES. Equals LFF equals LSES. The critical path activities are highlighted with yellow fill and red bold font. Once critical path analysis is done, it is not a big deal to generate Gantt chart. This program reads the network diagram incorporating the result of critical path analysis into. The activity data pulled out are the basis of Gantt chart to be created. Gantt chart is created by pressing the top right command button. The following 10 informations are consolidated for every activity referring to the network diagram. Activity. Description. Predecessor. Period. Early start date. Early finish date. Late start date. Late finish date. Float. Dependencies relationship. Three main steps are involved to complete Gantt chart. Firstly schedule template is created and looks like. Three tiers timeline with year month at top, weekday at middle and date at bottom. Default weekly cut off day is Friday. You select years in the drop down list. Color codes for weekly cutoff, non-work days critical activities and non-critical activities and late schedule. You can select your favorite color code including weekly cutoff day. Secondly, read activity schedule details inside activity node boxes and read dependencies relationship depicted by connectors. Populate with the read schedule data. Activities are ordered in sequence as presented in the network diagram rather than in sequence of activity data table. Lastly, schedule bars and connectors are drawn. Early schedule is displayed. Critical activities are differentiated from non-critical activities by different colors. Dependency relationships are presented with connectors. Late schedule is displayed without differentiation between critical and non-critical activities and without showing dependency relationship to avoid congestion. We have discussed how to automate the application of network diagram to make a logical schedule. Download the program for your use. 
If you want to view the source code, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.